and welcome back to my channel my name's Amy and I am here on our allotment plot again today um, I have got some other video footage from the other day um, that I'm going to slot into th this one uh, because I didn't film anything else I just filmed that one bit um, but it sort of joins on to what I'm doing today um, so I thought I'd just point that out because I have got different clothes on so uh, in case you were wondering why I did a quick change in the middle of a video that's why it's a different day um, so we're on the allotment plot today um, and we're going to finish off uh, what I was doing so uh, it's about our tomatoes and blight and that we've had to pull them all out so that's what we were doing the other day and already we've put some other stuff in so I'll show you what we've got um, in its place and uh, some other little jobs on the allotment plot today and of course some harvesting because everything is just going mad at the moment we've got cucumbers I've got a I did harvest all the bolotti beans the other day um, but I've just noticed there's some more on there and I thought I'd got them all so I've obviously missed some so I'm gonna get them and I've got a lot of runner beans and I've probably got I haven't gone on the other plot yet but there's probably some more squash because it's just got bad so I'm gonna have a little look at that I'm also going to check on our potatoes on there because as I say our um, tomatoes got blight so I just want to check that the, t the potatoes are okay if not we're gonna uh, chop all the tops off of them as well so I'm gonna go and have a little look so these are some of the tomatoes that have got blight so you see where it's gone black there um, so all of them are going to come out and then over here see on that one as well that's one of the tomatoes off of another plant out here and um so all of these outdoor tomatoes are coming out mum took all of these ones out the other day um and she took them don't put it in your compost because uh, it does spread she's taken them out taken them home put them in black sacks and put them out for the bin man this one we're hoping that we can save because although it does look a bit dry so we haven't got a lot of hope for it but we're hoping a good water but there's no black bits on the actual stems at the moment so we're hoping but we'll see and then in here we thought we'd would have been all right with these ones um because they were inside but they're not so it's all coming out mum started pulling these ones out uh, and to be honest, none of them, they've got flowers, but hardly, hardly any tomatoes. We've got a few tigerella there. But yeah, look, you see how they're starting to already get the, the black bits. So we've made an executive decision and we're just going to pull them all out and cut our losses, really, which is a shame. We had a lot of tomato plants to start with and we thought we were going to get loads of tomatoes. And unfortunately, we've had hardly any. Um, we have managed to rescue these tomatoes let me just show you so we've got this thing of green tomatoes uh, and apparently you can still eat the tomatoes providing they're um, you know not moldy um, so we're gonna make some green un uh, green tomato chutney so they're the tigerella ones there's loads of tomatoes there look that whole that whole thing is full Ooh, I thought that's a spider full of them and if they'd turned we would have had some nice tomatoes this one's a black opal so it's supposed to be that color but yeah all the out stuff everything on this plot uh, tomato wise we've lost really um, I'm gonna go and have a look on our other plot and see how they are so I'll, I'll show you them ones as well Plot. and we thought that they were all right but 
I'm not so sure um, because some of the leaves look like this. Uh, the stems still look okay. There's no black bits on the stems as far as I can see. And actually these ones have done a lot better than the ones in the polytunnel anyway. Um, so these are I think the Tigerella. Um, they've actually got, oh no, that's not good, I don't think. Oh, not good with tomato. So yep, definitely lots of green tomato chutney i've got these ones here actually pick them ones eat them ones i've just eaten a black opal one very nice one <laughs> so these runner beans here um probably didn't do the right thing so what i did is i put sticks for them to grow up which was great but normally i make like an a-frame because it has more stability um and that's probably what i needed because this one is supposed to be standing up there but with the weight of it and the um, wind, this keeps doing that. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe tie a bit of string from there to there to stop it keep falling over. Otherwise I think the whole lot are gonna fall over, especially as they're getting really heavy with some uh, nice juicy runner beans on there now. Bring out your goods and your chattels and all the treasures that can travel I'll fix the wheel and all the axles see another day believe come what may and the only way we also didn't plan this really very well because we thought yay let's put all the beans along there of course it's right next to the raspberry bed so the only way I can get through it is through the raspberries um because the other side is the sweet corn so it's easier to come through the raspberry bed anymore for anymore hear the angels cry but it's not his to to me and it's not mine to buy hey won't you come along with me so I've got a nice big bunch of runner beans uh, there are some smaller ones still on there uh, which I've left uh, for mum and to get a little bit bigger but the best way to eat them straight off the plant. Nice and sweet. It should be quite a lot like this. And then the others I just uh, boil up and serve with dinner. So as I said earlier, it's a different day from when I filmed the bits uh, about the blight and the tomatoes. Um, as you can see, this is one of the tomatoes we thought we'd saved and that one. Uh, but I've just gone in there and I think they've got blight as well so I think they're going to have to come out which is a shame because they've actually got some tomatoes on there um, and they're supposed to be like the black Russian so they're supposed to be nice big like purple ones um, I might try cutting the leaves off and see if that might do something I don't know um, but I've also just spotted something very exciting. Um, so if you watch my, I did a tour of this plot, uh, which was the last video I put up uh, and I showed you one of the melons and I've just spotted another one. So that's the one I showed in the video, but I've just spotted over here. Or oh, I might have filmed that one, but it's got a lot bigger and there are a few other small ones. So that's very exciting i've still got loads of cucamelons but they're still quite hard i mean i don't know are they supposed to go softer than that or maybe they are supposed to be hard like a like a cucumber maybe i should just try one so i'm going to pick a big one in the hope that that would be riper uh, and give it a go Well, they taste like cucumbers. 
So, um, probably they are a little bit hard. Give it another, give it another week and see how they are in a week, I think. So as I said, it was out with the old and in with the new. These are beans. Uh, these are green beans, like French beans. And then these are sort of purple dwarf French beans. Um, so that's where we did have some tomatoes. But now we've got some beans. And then in the polytunnel, uh, this is where we had all them tomatoes. What we've got here now is beetroot. So these were started in trays uh, in the greenhouse and then mum's put them out um, sort of in, in little clumps. So we find that they grow really well like that. And we've got a few different ones. I think mum must have got them all out actually. I wasn't sure they would all fit. So we've got, um, if you can read that, bar, bab, oh god. Why can't they? I never can pronounce them. Anyway, some of them there. And then this one is a cylindra. And then this one is oh, F1 action. Baby something. Baby type. I'm going to give this a water in a minute. And then we've got Detroit 6. I think that says. Oh, sorry. Covering over the lens and then oh yeah detroit six two lots there so hopefully this will give us lots of beetroot and hopefully they won't get eaten in here like they did outside so i'm just going to pull out these tomatoes uh, and i'm going to replace them with some uh, spring onions in this little bed here so I've got some old gloves. These are the ones that we've been using to pull out the tomatoes. Um, and then once we've pulled them all out, we're gonna chuck these um, so that we don't end up spreading it to the potatoes or to any tomatoes that we have next year. I don't know if it lasts that long, but that's what we've decided to do, just to be on the safe side, really. Oh, these are really wet inside. So we had, this one was an alicante, also had, oh they were all alicantes I think, oh and a money, money maker, so it's a shame, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in a, a plastic bag, like an old compost bag, um, which we save so that we can actually just um, throw it away rather than composting it. I hear a minister's voice is calling Soon the country all around me will come to look the same There's a place from whence I came got these out the greenhouse these are the candy floss kale um, some of them we've already put in a bed on the other plot um, and then I'm going to put a row of them in uh, where I've just pulled out the tomatoes in this bed here um, so I'm going to put them ones in there and these ones I'm not sure if they're too small well they should be too small because at the end of the day you 
I can, so I'm direct, so it should be alright. But I just got these um, spring onions, and they're the uh, blood red ones. Um, so instead of the white, I think, instead of the white bulb, they're red. So they're the ones I'm going to put in that little bed there. Um, not sure if I fit them all in, but I'll put some in. Hey, won't you come along with me? I hear your neighbours, dogs is barking, soon the country. Right, so I've put spring onions in there, some in there. I've put just a couple in here with this spinach, because there was a few gaps there. I've also put some in some of the gaps around the beetroot. Um, there was a bit of space there, so I've put some in there and then I've put them in between. I must remember to tell mum that I've done that, otherwise she might think that that's like grass growing up in between and pull them out. So uh, yeah, I'll let her know that I've put them in there as well. And then I've just got a few left um, that I'm going to leave in there for now in case some of the others don't take um and if the others all do take then i'll put them somewhere else but i've just got some spare for now right i've just harvested all of this <laughs> well these kohlrabis we did the other day um but they're there so we've got some nice big ones like that mum's obviously cut all the leaves off there's some small ones but they can still be eaten we roast them got some runner beans some bolotti beans more courgettes, so I think that's probably a courgette soup coming up. Some cucumbers. This cucumber was given to me uh, by a plot neighbour. Um, and then there's some, we've got some more cucumbers on the plant, but I didn't pick them. We've got a trombuccino, uh, which is like a courgette or a squash. Uh, we've got these, these are spring onions <laughs> that I've sort of left to get big, but I just cut them up and use them like normal onions. So I'm going to roast them. Uh, I've got some snowball turnips and this, I tell you what, I'm so excited because our carrots on the other plot did awful. But I thought, oh, I'll just pull some of them up thinking they're going to be tiny. But look, I think they're supposed to be Chantenay ones, so they probably a bit big for them. But And then I forgot we did these purple ones. And I was pulling this one up and thought, oh, that must be a weed that just looks like a carrot top. And look. I've never grown a carrot that big before. <laughs> uh, and then there's just two slightly smaller ones. So tonight's dinner is going to be roasted turnip, carrots, onions, kohlrabi. Uh, I'll cook them, I'll boil them and, and serve it as well. Mm, I might put some courgettes, or I, say I might do a courgette soup tomorrow. Um, and then I've got some potatoes at home some new potatoes that I then will roast as well and that'll be our dinner for today. So I'm tired now, hands are filthy, dinner's harvested, I'm gonna go home and uh, cook my dinner now. So I hope you enjoyed that video, uh, don't forget to like it um, and subscribe. Uh, next video, we're gonna be coming down to the allotment, I need to start off some seeds, my um, some flower seeds that I'm gonna sow and then over winter in the greenhouse and then they're ready to put out next year nice and early uh, so that's what i'm going to be doing in the next video um and i'll see you all then